Okay, section 6.3. It's really close. Watch, there's a huge similarity between this uh, lesson that we did and the one that we uh, just finished doing. Um, let's put a parallelogram here. Let me just review just quickly because there's a huge relationship between what we did before and what we did, what we're going to do today. What would you say we're doing orange, right? So squash, uh, is, squash, squash. is close enough. Right, and then we'll go. Um, I can't see that We'll go blue. All right. So uh, watch this. If this was a parallelogram, so we'll say parallelogram A B C D. So they tell us it's a parallelogram. There's A B C D. This is review. All right. I want to show you the difference between what we're doing today. Listen to me. You can still write this down. What's the difference between what we're doing today and what we did earlier? Dion, you getting all this? Taking good notes there? Take some notes. So watch. There's A, B, C, D. It tells you it's a parallelogram. So just that fact that they tell you it's a parallelogram, what can we say about this figure right here? By definition, what? Let's start from the beginning. They're parallel. That's right. Opposite sides are parallel. Very good. So by the definition, we know this is true. Agreed? Yes. Um, now, since we know it's a parallelogram, what else must be true? Well, let's do the sides. Let's kind of go in order the way we taught it. The sides are equal. The opposite sides are equal, right? No, there's no perpendicular. Okay. The opposite angles are equal, right? Now, watch. All these things so far, watch. If it's a parallelogram. That's supposed to be parallelogram. If it's a parallelogram, then what? All that stuff must must be true, right? Yeah. That AB must be parallel to DC. All right. That what else? AD must be parallel to BC. If it's a parallelogram, what else is true? AB must be congruent or equal to DC, right? Um, AD must be equal or congruent to BC. That's not us. All right. So you with me so far? So w what is it all based on? It's all based on the fact that we have a parallelogram. parallelogram. So if it's a parallelogram, all this stuff is true. What else is true? Angle A must equal what? Angle C. What else? Angle B must equal angle D. Let's, what else do we know? That angle A is what? Supplementary to angle D, right? And what else? It's also supplementary to something else. Angle B. I'll just put a comma here. Angle B. What about um, what about the other ones? What about angle B? Angle B must be supplementary to angle C, right? And what else? Angle A. Right? And we could go on, right, with all the supplementary stuff going on. So all that's true. What am I getting at? I'm getting at this. This is our if. This is what's given, right? It's given that we have a parallelogram. They told me it's a parallelogram. So as soon as they tell me, okay, this thing's a parallelogram, all these things are going through my head, right? As soon as, like if you're taking a SAT test or something like that, oh, SAT test, you know, because T is for T, test, test. All right. If you're taking the, if you're taking the SAT, all right, you're going to see a problem that says this is a parallelogram. So all these things should be flooding through your head. If it's a parallelogram, what must be true? The sides are parallel. The sides are equal. The opposite side, the opposite angles are equal. The diagonals, what do they do? The diagonals bisect each other. All that stuff should be flooding through your head. Agreed? But that all depends on this figure if it's a what? If it's a parallelogram, okay? You with me on that? Okay. Let's scroll down. What's that thing right there? Did I tell you it was? No. It's a quadrilateral. You could say it's a ro you, you could say it's a quadrilateral. Now you can't say anything about being a rhombus because you don't know anything about the sides or anything like that. 
Okay? All you can say with the information that's given in front of you right now is that it's a what? It's a, it's a quadrilateral. It's four sides. It's the only thing that you could say. You could say it's orange as well. Okay? All right? But that's the only thing that you could say about it. Watch this. What if I told you? Now, we don't know it's a parallelogram. Agreed? Agreed. All right. All I know is that it's a quadrilateral. But what if I told you that this side and this side were equal? Does that make it a parallelogram? No. No. But what if I told you that this, I said equal, didn't I? I meant parallel. These two sides are parallel, and these two sides are parallel. What if I told you that? What do you think might be true about this thing now? It's a parallelogram. That's right. Because before we said what? We said if it's a parallelogram, then the opposite sides, uh, what are we doing here? Opposite sides are... Uh, what is this? Parallel. Parallel. Okay. So if it's a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel, right? But what did we do? We switched it around, didn't we? So what does this now say? This says if the opposite sides, if both pairs, if you want to slide that in there, okay, if both pairs of opposite sides are parallel to each other, then... Guess what it is? It's a, not just a polygon, but a special type. What kind? A parallelogram. A parallelogram. I don't know. It's a parallelogram. Do you see the difference? So if I'm given this information right here, that's the only thing I'm given about this four-sided figure, is that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. If I'm given that information, then what can I conclude about this figure? Then I can say it's a what? It's a parallelogram. Do you remember that stuff we talked about? If P, then Q? Remember that? Yeah. If P, then Q was my statement. All right. If I switch it around, if I go if Q, then P, what is that? I give it a word. It starts with a C. We've talked about this quite a bit. We do this a lot. We've done it a lot all mm -hmm. year. We take a statement, and then we flip the if and the then, and we have a CO converse. Very good. Oh, yeah. Thank you, JL. All right. All right, so... That's the converse of that statement, all right? And that's what it is. Look, this is the statement itself. If it's a parallelogram, then the opposite sides are parallel. What does the converse of the statement say? If the opposite sides are parallel, then what? Then it's a parallelogram. Do you see how we switch the if and the then? Yep. So that is our new theorem. Okay. Now, again, we didn't know it was a parallelogram to begin with, did we? The only thing we knew is that the opposite sides were both parallel to each other. But if that's true, if the opposite sides are parallel to each other, guess what this thing is? It's a parallelogram. parallelogram. Now, if it's a parallelogram, there must be a lot of other stuff that's true about this, right? Mm -hmm. The opposite sides were also what? Equal. The opposite angles are also equal. The consecutive interior angles are supplementary. The diagonals do what to each other? They bisect each other. So. Since we now know it's a parallelogram, we can say all that other stuff. But we weren't given all that stuff, were we? We were given that only the opposite sides were parallel to each other. Well, guess what? That also works. Oops. Did that a little too soon. Slide that up. Now I can do it. Now look at this. What if I was given... Now what can I say about this? Can I say this is a parallelogram right now? No. No, I can't. Let's go to the blue. Caribbean blue. How about that? All right. What if I was told that this and this are equal to each other? And that was it. Couldn't say anything about it. Okay. All I say is those two sides are equal. What if I told you that these two are equal? Now, guess what? Now it's a parallelogram. Okay. With this given information right here, if I told you that both pairs of opposite sides were equal to each other in length, then guess what this thing is? A it's a parallelogram. Do you see the difference? Yeah. All right. I'll get rid of these. You see where we're going with this, don't you? Yes. What if I told you that this angle was equal to this angle? Is that enough to say it's a parallelogram? No. no. But what if I told you that this and this were equal? Yeah, yeah. Then guess what? It's a parallelogram, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What do you think would be true about the diagonals? Don't leave yet. If the diagonals bisect each other, so watch. If this and this are equal, and if this and this are equal to each other, then guess what this thing is? It's a parallelogram. Okay.
Let me uh, give you a worksheet, okay, and then you can work on that tonight.